Good morning everybody. I'm going to try and show you the poor man's keep fit. After you leave school you find that you're not doing active sports, you're not doing soccer, you're not doing anything that's going to keep yourself fit. So after a period of time you start to put on weight around the stomach and you don't see this yourself but over a period of time it gets worse and worse till it comes to the point you say to yourself, oh I have a big belly and what do I need to do about it? Well first of all it's not a case of how much you eat, it's a case of how much exercise you do and you keep yourself fit and you keep yourself fit is going to help you have a healthy life and plus the fact is you more like it helps you to keep living a little bit longer. Life is very precious so you've got to look after your life and you've got to look after your body. As you say once you, you start to leave school you start to say to yourself, well, I'm at work, you sit down all day, you get tired, you get mentally tired if you're doing office work, so you don't really want to go out running, you don't really want to do any sports, you just want to come on home, sit down, eat, and go to bed, <clears throat> and uh, enjoy yourself. But the problem is, you're not keeping yourself fit, you're not keeping the blood circulating, you're not keeping your muscles supple. So this is what you really need to do. To be on the, the cheap side, on the poor man's side like me, you need, to say, say, you need to say to yourself, I need to do something about keeping myself fit. And it's an easy way to do it. If you're sitting down or if you don't feel very well, you know, you've got to try and keep those muscles going. You've got to try and keep the muscles in your stomach flat. You've got to keep your stomach from bulging out. You've got to keep your legs fit. And it's an easy way to do it. On everyday things you do today, when you're going to work or whether you're going to, whatever you're going to do, if you're a truck driver, you're going to eat a lot because you're burning off those calories and all the energy. But the problem is this, when you're at the office, you need to say to yourself, oh, I'm going to look after my body. So what do we do? First of all, in the morning, you must have breakfast. The reason why you must have breakfast, even if it's one piece of toast, the reason why is that that gives you the sugar to supply your body with the energy to give you for the day. It's like taking your car on a 400 mile uh, drive and only have a half a tank of petrol. You've got to make sure that your body has got the energy to be able to keep going. <coughs> and the thing is this, if you don't do this, then you're going to feel very, very weak and sluggish and everything else. But the problem is this, what's happened with us is that over a period of time, we have now sat down, now our stomachs are bulging out and we're oh, too fat because we've put on all this fat. This fat is taking an extra sort of few gallons out of the, say with the car, a surplus because it's waiting for you to do those exercises you did 10 years ago and you're not going to do them. But you want to get rid of this fat, and that's the main thing. Some people are not born uh, with slim bodies. Some people are born extra fat and everything else. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about your physique. You've got to realize, you've got to keep that heart. This heart, it's small. It's pumping all that blood around into all that old fat. It's like having a, 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 a big pipe and it's clogged. If you clog it, the water or what it's going to put down it is not going to flow uh, smoothly. So it's the same with your body. You've got to get rid of those stuff in your body through your arteries and everything else there and help to keep it moving good. So what I've done, I'm trying to help you uh, through life to be able to keep yourself fit on the poor man's budget. Okay? First of all, what you must do, like I said, in the morning, have a small bowl of cereal. You don't need a large breakfast unless you're doing manual work and you need it. But then you'll be, you'll be fit yourself because you're doing the, the manual work. But most of us don't do it. First of all, what we need to do is get ourselves a bottle of water. A bottle of water, say about a litre, it'll weigh about two to three pounds. That's all you need to start with because sometimes our muscles have not develop the, a, a game because we let them deteriorate. We haven't got the, the strength to lift them up. So what I've done, <clears throat> I've got a bottle here, 
of water, about two or three pounds, and this would be good for you to start off with. Because first of all, what you need to do, you can walk with it. You can put it on a backpack, but I'll talk to you about that later. But what we need to do is to strengthen our arms today and make sure we can keep ourselves fit. Now, there's no hurry. If you start to say, oh, I'm going to go for a run, that's the worst thing you can do. Because more than likely, you see a lot of runners, they're running down the road, they're slow, they've got bandages around their knees, they've done more damage to their body than any good. Because you damage your knees, your legs, or anything else like that, then the problem that's going to happen is that you've ruined most of the things that you were trying to solve. So now the fact is, let's start with some of the exercise again. Get yourself a bottle, or if need be, <clears throat> you can get two bottles. Two bottles, and then you can lift them up to help your biceps. You put them behind you also. That'll help your triceps at the back. So really all you need to do, if you're walking, you can walk like this with it. These bottles of water. You may look stupid, but it doesn't matter. You're helping yourself. <clears throat> or later on, if you go and you take your bicycle, bicycles are perfect for keeping yourself fit because you never see a fat cyclist. So don't forget, get yourself a bicycle also. Stop getting these treadmills. You don't need to go running, okay? You need to go walking, put a backpack on it, and you need to do a little bit of exercise here. Now you can lift them out, pull them out to your side like this, and then back in. If it's too much, relax. Don't overdo it. If you start overdoing it, you're going to do more damage to your muscles than any other thing. So the thing is, even with one bottle, we take one bottle, we can pass around and take the, the weight off each arm, but it's helping you. You can get it, you can pass it behind you. It'll help your triceps at the same time and keep passing around. Keep the thing at level up all the time, all the way around. Now you can say, hey, I'm going to punch my husband or my wife, is he? Pretend you're going to punch the ball or whatever you want to do. Punch bag. You're helping yourself, you're giving yourself a little bit of exercise, but you're doing it. Lift it, you can lift it up, put it down, lift it up, put it down. You'll find, oh, I started to find the muscles are going there. <clears throat> Plus the fact is, if your belly's out here a bit, like the army tell you, Excuse me, sir, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, peckish today. What do they do? They say tighten the belt in. So get your belt. If your stomach sticks out, breathe in, get your belt, tighten it up there, and that'll help to keep that in. The reason why that is there, it stops the muscles expanding out. If you've got loose clothes like Arabs, you'll see a lot of Arab men, they're, they're fat. They stick out of their bellies there because they don't wear any belts. You find that the Europeans, they, they wear belts and they keep the stomachs in a lot. But again, if you eat, drink too much, drink too much, and you don't keep that in there, get yourself a belt and tighten the thing in. Tighten it up, you know, that'll help you. Help you really back everything. So the answer question is, let's take the bowl of water again, and then we can start to do it. And even if, if, if you bend your legs down here, you'll find that your legs here, you could even, the other thing you want to do, you can even dance. Put some music on and do some dancing as you put the music on and dance with it. This will help you. This will help all the circulation of your blood, get rid of all the excess fat that you're using. You want to, you want to burn that fat off. It's surplus fuel, like in your car. You want to burn it off. If you don't look after that body, it'll soon deteriorate and it'll conk out. It's like the engine of a car. You don't keep changing the oil on it. You don't look after it, eventually it's going to break down, and when it breaks down, it's going to be a problem for you. So, I cut a bottle of water, let's go for a walk, you know. Go out at night time, swing your arms around, keep them right the way up there. It's like the old Sergeant Major. Keep them up there, keep your legs in that fit. You don't need to walk fast, you don't need to walk slow or anything like that. Just keep your normal pace, what you normally do. If it gets too much, stop. Have a rest. If you're doing exercises like that and it's too much, hold your arms down there, just relax your arms. Even if you can bend your arms and pull up. You think, oh, this is too easy, I'm not, I, I need to lift up heavier weights. No, you don't. You want to keep yourself supple. You don't want to put on muscle. You don't want to be like a weight builder. 
unless you want to do heavy build weights, and it's up to you. Yes, you'll keep yourself fit, but the problem is this, when you get older, over the age of 60, those muscles start to go to fat. So you want to keep yourself supple. That's the main thing. Keep yourself supple, keep that blood flowing, and keep yourself going. You do that, your body will help yourself. You'll feel much fitter, much better, a lot of walking, steady. Then you can put, if need be, put two in your back, put them in a backpack, you can go for a walk. <clears throat> Get yourself a good pair of shoes, you should be good. Don't buy Chinese shoes, they fall to pieces. Get yourself a good old pair of British Army boots, and that'll help you to do the walking, the running, or whatever you need. You don't need any sneakers at $200 or £200 at a time. You need a good pair of army boots. They'll last a long time. So do that. Get yourself a bicycle. First of all, you need to start off like this with the bottles of water. Because this is your first start. This is to keep yourself going for the first. You need to do this every day for a month. If you go running, it's going to take you three months to run three miles. Keep yourself fit. And then you'll be just about lucky, you can just about do three miles. But, you'll start with getting yourself good and fit. <clears throat> so like I said, use these bottles. They're inexpensive. Then if you've got, say later on, you want to get yourself a larger milk jug, fill that up with water. It weighs about, say, a gallon in there, it'll be about 10 pounds. Now that's heavy. But what you need to do, you need to start tightening your muscles you'll find that you'll get nice and supple. But even doing this, you can feel with these two weights, the three pounds each, you don't need any heavy weights. You just need the, the small ones to keep yourself fit and pull them out, pull them in and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Now if you feel tired, relax. Don't overstress those muscles. Don't overdo it. They say, oh, I've done 10. Good, okay? <clears throat> now what you need to do, take a break. Take a break and sit down. Now you'll find that later on, get up again, do another 10. One, two, and then if need be, do 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, stretch right away, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you've done 15, okay, relax. Now, for the next day, do 15 again. 15 again. And then you're okay, after another four hours, you've got nothing to do. Pick up the bottles of water. Okay, got to walk upstairs over there. When well, you got upstairs, go up two at a time. It's going to strengthen these legs, it's going to strengthen these muscles. But don't forget, if you want and your partner wants to go out, go dancing. Go dancing. Dancing will strengthen or do it yourself. It doesn't matter if you look a fool. Who cares? You're keeping yourself fit. It doesn't matter what people do. Oh, you're laughing because you're dancing stupid. People laugh at me all the time. Who cares? I don't. I don't worry about what people thought. I've been in too many fights. So the answer to the question is, don't bother. Look stupid. But get yourself fit. You live a few minutes for years. If not, all that fat in your body and all those tablets you're taking, because your heart, the doctor said, oh yeah, take this tablet. You need to thin your blood. You want to thin your blood? Get some lemons. Get some lemons, slice them up, dip them in a little bit of sugar and eat them. Eat them with the skin. Because the skin is where the lemon oil is in there, which is good for your skin, your complexion. And you'll have lovely skin. Believe me, and the acid in that lemon is going to kill all the bacteria. So eat that, and if you eat a piece of lemon, or say one lemon, or two lemons a week, you'll find after about six months, your blood is going to be thin. I've done that for several years, and. My mother had that there, and her blood was very thin. She was actually got anemic. So the answer to the question is, stop taking these tablets. Stop taking these things that the doctor, he'll give them to you. 
Oh yes, Mr. You need this. Oh yes, Mr. You need that. Of course he is, because he's making money out of it. But do it the natural way. Get the lemons. That's the best way to do it. And if you you have a bit of ailment, drink tonic water. It's got quinine in it. Quinine will kill malaria. That's why it's got the quinine in it. If you drink the gin, it'll clean the liver. That's why I did. So you've got gin, tonic. And lemon. That's all you need. That will clean up your that will clean up your system. You need to look at all these natural things. You know, go into it. Look into it. Don't take all these other supplements and everything else there. Like I said, just keep yourself going. Push yourself out there and keep yourself fit. Do this over a period of three months, and you'll find yourself you'll feel much better. Oh, I can't be bothered. No, if you don't be bothered, your body's going to conk out. And when it comes out and you give yourself a heart attack, and you lay there and you can't speak or you can't move, you say, God, I wish I'd have gone cycling, I wish I'd have gone walking, I wish I'd done a little bit more exercise. Yeah, or start by it now. And cut down on your food a bit if you're overweight. So what you need to do, you need to get rid of that fat. That's the main thing. Now don't forget, a lot of time you're not doing exercise, so your belly the muscle deteriorate. So again, if you want to, bend down, lift them up. Bend down a little bit forward and lift them up. You think to yourself, oh, these are not good, but it is. It's helping you get there. And sometimes it's going to be strenuous. You say, oh, I can't be bothered. But you've got to be bothered. You've got to be bothered. You've got to be bothered to put these things down. Put them down and you have your foot down. Bend your knees at the same time. You'll find that the muscles start getting a bit tighter here. When you do it, get your bicycle out there, go for a short ride with it. Not fast, take your time. If you feel too tired with it, stop. Don't go burning down the road at 200 miles an hour because you know it's a waste of time. You'll do more damage to yourself, but do it gradually. And over a period of time, you'll enjoy doing the bicycling and you'll say, oh, I'm glad I feel much better now. So do this, use these bottles. You know, keep yourself going. Push them backwards and forward. Turn behind to keep your biceps, uh, triceps tied like this. The back, to the front. Triceps, biceps, triceps, biceps. Out, stretch, your, stretch all your, your muscles on your chest a bit. Keep the, your chest a bit supple. That's what you need to do. And for, you'll find the back of your neck, also around here, and your muscle on the back, they'll, they'll, they'll start to ache also, but don't overdo it. If you feel too much, stop. Stop, take a rest. When you feel like you do it again, do it again. If you start feel, oh, I've got pain in my muscles, wait. Do it tomorrow. Tomorrow you feel good, start again. Start on your exercise again then your muscles start to get used to it. And the more they get used to it, the better it is for you. Soon you'll be able to say, do a hundred of these. Now that's good, you do a hundred of those, you start getting yourself fit. You start keeping the blood going, you'll find it's much better. So keep on doing these things, I'm telling you. It's a poor man's way. It's the best way. It's gonna keep you, your body fit. And you need to eat properly. Don't keep on eating too much of this junk food. Yes, we all like it, yeah, of course we do. But the problem is this, make your own food. Cook your own hamburgers. Don't go to McDonald's and all these other places because the thing is, you go to these places, you'll keep on putting on weight. It's fast food, but eat moderately. Do not just go out and eat a big meal and a sweet, then you go back home, you lay in bed, oh, I feel so tight. Of course you do, because your poor old heart that's pumping all that blood around all that fat. Think to yourself, when I was 16, what did you weigh? <clears throat> that's okay. You weighed nine, tones, nine stone seven. Nine stone, which is 14 pounds, multiply that, what's that? So that's uh, nine fours 36, that's 126 plus seven. It's 133 pounds. 
Now, if you weigh 172 pounds, that's 42 pounds you've put on from the age of 16 to whatever age you are, say up to the age of 60, right? But think to yourself, 42 pounds. These are only three pounds each. Think to yourself, when you go on holiday, you pack your suitcase. Your suitcase is at about 40 pounds. So what you're actually doing, you're walking around carrying a suitcase. Would you do that? No, of course you would, but you are. Think about it. You're carrying yourself a suitcase around. And your poor old heart and your body has got to take that. No wonder you say, oh, I feel so tired. Of course you do, because you're carrying all that weight. Get rid of it. Start cutting your food down a bit till you get rid of all that fat. Yet that fat is surplus fuel. You've got to burn that fuel off. That's what I'm saying. So for the next three months, first of all in the morning, you get up, piece of toe, toast, egg on toast, that's it. Bowl of cereal, that's it. And a cup of tea, perfect. Cup of coffee, perfect. You don't need any more. Unless you're doing truck driving, you just unload a 20 ton of fertilizer, then you could do a good old full English breakfast. But you don't need it. So that's your first exercise. In the afternoon or your lunchtime, hey, I'm gonna have uh, ham, potatoes and peas. That's all you need. You don't need a sweet. You need a cup of tea after that. That's all you need. Cut yourself down. At night time, oh, tea time's come round. What shall I have? I'll have Welsh rabbit. Piece of toast, egg on there with some cheese, cup of tea, that's all you need. Now you're, you're using, you're keeping your, 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 your body with that sugar going, but you're cutting down your food. You're helping yourself. You'll help yourself keep fit. And once that fat starts to go down, you'll feel much better in yourself. So start doing that now. I'll try and help you some other but again, once you start getting yourself fit, like I said, take your time on it. Take your time. Doesn't matter how foolish you look, how stupid you look, you've got to look after your body and get yourself fit. And if you get yourself fit, then in the end you say, hey, I've got a good body. Even myself, I have to keep myself fit. Not that I want to, I think, oh God, do I have to do this? This is a pain in the neck. But I like to live. I like to see the sun in the morning. I like to see the moon at night. I like to have a bit of fun. I like to go out and walk. I like to ride on a motorbike. I like to go in the car. I like to go on the bicycle. I like to do the garden. I like to see the birds sing. I need all those things. I'm selfish. If you're selfish, then you'll end up dying and your family are going to always be crying because you couldn't be bothered to get off your backside and start doing a big exercise. How many times see people ill? It's so unfortunate that people get ill because they're overweight and they can't do anything. So try and help yourself, you know. And as I say, you've got the bottles of water, you drink at the same time, clean the system out. You need at least one of these a day, a minimum, to clean out all the stuff out of your liver and your kidneys and everything else. You've got to keep yourself fluid, keep yourself clean, keep everything going. Now we've got this pandemic, Start doing it. You're doing nothing, stop sitting around. You've got to keep yourself going. Put some music on, start dancing. And then when you put the music on, you start dancing, you'll see and realize how unfit you are because you're like, oh, my legs are so tight. Of course they are. You've done no exercise. Get yourself going, get yourself motivated. Even standing here doing this, you can feel your muscles being used and, oh, getting a bit tight and, oh. I'm a bit tired. No, just keep keep on thinking you get a tired. Relax. Stop. Oh, take yourself a breath. Sit down. Ten minutes later, get up, have a bit more. You've got a couple of bottles of water. Take them out. You go down to shops, don't use the car to go to the shops, walk down to the shops. Take yourself a bag, put these in the back in the haversack, small haversack. Don't weigh the have a sack up because you're overstressing your feet. Your feet will get sore. So just use the, your common sense and use these. They're, they're, they're light, 
But after you use them for a, for a period of time, you'll realize they get heavy. Oh, you know? And you'll be able to feel your stomach when you lean forward. Lean forward here, like this, you feel your tightness in your muscles. You feel it here, you feel it in your, in your biceps here. Like here, you hold the, the things forward like this. Don't put on muscle, you don't want to put on muscle, you want to keep them supple. You want to keep yourself fit. You see all these big weight levels, yeah, great, got big muscles. I don't want big muscles. I want to keep my muscles as they are, because they're supple. They're nice, they do the job that I want to do. They're keeping me fit. I don't need to put on muscle to lift 150 pounds. Who want to lift 150 pounds anyway? Not me. I want to lift up three pounds. Keep myself fit. I can move faster than the other average man who's been doing the weightlifting. So like I said, don't get on the treadmill and start running quick straight, in, straight away because the poor old knees will go. <clears throat> you need to st strengthen these knees. You can even stand there, just there, on one knee, some of that. If you bend your knee like that, and it's straightened, after a period of time, you can feel it around your knee muscles and things like that. And also, if you suffer from arthritis, eat salmon. Raw, the raw, cooked salmon, you know. The raw salmon that uh, you can eat. I find that they're there. My hands ache. After a period of time, I think, oh, my fingers here, they ache. I eat that salmon, within a couple of days, they feel really good. And as we get older, we will get arthritis. So think about these things. Eat the lemons that I told you about. Have a gin and tonic. And don't forget salmon also. Go into some of these, these herbal remedies. These old women's stories and that there. And you'll find that they're actually good. They're being proven at a period of time. It's not a waste of time. Think about it. So that's what I'm saying. Keep yourself fit. And I hope this video has helped you all. It certainly helps me. I said you don't need all these expensive weights and equipment. You just need these to keep yourself fit. In that, stretch things out. Your back muscles, your arm muscles, everything else there. Pass them around, or pass around the front like this. You'll find it. All your arm muscles that get good, and your body muscles, and your stomach muscles, your leg muscles, all at the same time. You think, oh, these are not very heavy. No, but they are. You try and hold them out like this for a long period of time. You, you bend forward a little bit. You feel that your back is all tightening up here. You can feel it. You feel the stomach muscles here. Like this, even if you feel a bit forward like this. If it's too much, stop, straighten up, and then just wait. Do this over a period of time. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. If you don't do it, you'll find that later on in life it gets worse. And as you get older, you don't want to do it. <clears throat> you don't want to walk. You don't want to go out. All you want to do is sit down and watch TV and drink a few beers. And as you do this, you're, you're killing yourself. You're putting yourself there every time you sit down, you drink a few beers, you're not doing any exercise, that every day you're putting a nail in your own coffin. So it's up to you. Start it now. Get yourself a bottle of water. Take your time. Do five. Then later on, if need be, half an hour later, do seven. You find, oh yeah, or do it to your arms, take a pin, and you say, okay, right, that's the limit. Stop. You did ten, that's your limit. Another arm, ten more. Stop. Another arm, ten more. Stop. Another arm, ten minutes. Stop. Or you're sitting on, on the couch, just lift up you. If you're sitting on the couch, you're not doing anything, just keep on lifting your arms up. Then you, what you can do, you can lay the bottles down and wait. Then get up, and if you're overweight, take your time. If you're overweight, it's going to take you three months, to six months, to get rid of all that fat. So it's not going to be an overnight thing. You're not going to be slim overnight. But over a period of a year, with your big framed 
small frame the what? You've got to keep yourself supple. Don't, you don't need to put on muscles. You need to get those bloods there. You've got to turn your muscles up. You've got to turn them up. If you don't turn them up, and you must drink water, especially the old people. Old people don't drink water. You say, ah, oh, what do we want water for? I have a beer. No, you need the water to flush all that stuff out of your body that you've been drinking. So just sip it every now and then, okay? Just sip it. Then do your exercises, you know, soon you'll be able to get, be able to get them fairly quick. And then when you're doing them quickly, you know you start getting yourself fit. And you feel better in yourself. You feel, oh, hey, I can go a bit there. And then I get my bicycle out there, I go cycling, do a couple of miles, cycle down the shops, cycle myself back. I feel much better. I feel much better. And then when you go on holiday, you look a little bit better, and you feel better, and you can do the things that you did when you're younger. Well, not so much, but enough. You know what I mean? But you'll find that even doing these, you'll find your neck muscles, your arm muscles. Whew, you think these are heavy? Now you do it a hundred times, you'll know that these things feel heavy. So again, you don't need any heavy weights. You've got them in your arms. You only need three pounds. It turns your muscles up, turns you up good, okay? I said, and then start with your bending on your knees at the same time. Any exercise you do like this, doesn't matter. If you look stupid, your parents, your, your children take the mick out of it, doesn't matter. You want to keep yourself fit. You're trying, you're trying. That's all people ask you to do. It doesn't matter. People laugh at you, so what? People laugh at me all, all the time. More like you'll laugh at me. If you keep these working around like this, like a, a windmill, as so you're swimming like this, it's great. So like I said, give it a go, keep yourself fit, and let me know how you get on. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll try and come back and help you with the food more. Try and watch my other videos. Might be a bit of education to you all. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to sit down and have a couple of beers and a steak and chips and everything else. Behave yourselves. Keep yourself fit.